Okay, this is an update of what the garden looks like in the area where we transplanted all the plants out of those flats that we've had growing. So this end is broccoli. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of broccoli. The six rows on this end, all broccoli. And the next three rows are all cauliflower. They look like they've taken the transplant pretty well. Cauliflower, cauliflower. And this row was already, it was just um, planted directly in the garden. This is black seeded Simpson. This row is called, um, it's lettuce, it's called flame. And it is just starting to come up. There's two little plants. Here's a cluster over here. Up there. And this next row over is red romaine lettuce. And it's starting to come up pretty well. Got a good little stand of it all the way down the row. Next row is, next two rows is Lola Rosa lettuce and it's looking really nice. I'm gonna have to pick some of it this weekend, make a salad. It's looking good and this was planted directly in the garden too. All of these rows, the Lola Rosa, the Red Romaine, the Flame, and the Black Seeded Simpson were planted in here. All right, this, these are transplants. We transplanted Saturday and this is um, Tatsoy. And it's doing really well. It looks pretty. This row was planted directly in the garden. These are two rows of pink beauty radishes. This row and this row, all radishes. <laughs> this next pitiful little row is America spinach that we planted directly. And we're probably going to end up pulling it because it looks bad. We'll see. Give it a little more time, but right now it doesn't look, doesn't look great. Okay, this is, these two rows are transplanted Swiss chard from here on this left hand side all the way down to the next little white sign down there is Ford Hook Giant Swiss chard. Over here is Five Color Silver Beet Swiss chard. So we've got two rows of various kinds of Swiss chard. From here back, from this sign on, is rhubarb red Swiss chard. And then we have some, I'm sure I'll pronounce this wrong, but lacinato kale past that. So these two rows are kale and Swiss chard. And sugar snap peas growing up on the fence. This is the Swiss chard that we, it's been here for a while. That went all through the winter. And this is some that was transplanted in, that we transplanted in. A couple different kinds of Swiss chard. This is good, I ate some of it this weekend. Over here, getting a couple little rows ready to plant some sweet corn. Another row here. Then we're going to row these two rows up in here ready for sweet corn too. And then another row of sugar snap peas starting them to come on. Looks pretty good. Got tender green mustards growing on the back of this fence. Already been eaten up. They're not even out of the ground yet and the bugs are eating them. So they may not make it. And our potatoes are up. These are the red Lasota. They're looking healthy and pretty, the ones that came up. And then we have several big gaps where nothing's come up. And we dug down in here and a lot of the seed potatoes had rotted. So wherever we have a big gap, we're going to replant. There's one. <coughs> There's one. Here's a couple more. 
and then another big gap. And the ones that we saved that were funny looking and had potatoes growing inside them, we had planted on this little part of the row here and um, none of them came up and we dug down in there and they were rotted. So we'll replant there. Same thing over here, more red Lasota potatoes. We have a great big gap here where just nothing came up. So we're going to replant. And then have a few areas here where they came up okay. A few carrots coming back. And that's about it. We planted red Lasota potatoes over here. And to show you this bed over here, we planted white Kennebec potatoes. White Kennebec potatoes in this little bed over here, and they're starting to come up. And they do look a little bit different than the others. The leaves aren't as dark green, and they just have a different shape to them. So it'll be interesting to compare the two different types of potatoes we get. That's what's planted sporadically over in this bed. And that's about it for the garden update. Thanks for watching.